what's up beautiful people listening i remember welcome to the channel so today we have this very interesting video and it's titled fascinating encounter as vivian from aswami far too clever for pansexual reporter awesome i'm excited to check this one out to hear what they've got to say let's check it out Moving along to another presidential candidate, another outsider, Vivek Ramaswamy, who gave a masterclass in how to handle the LGBTQIA lobby. Here he is confronted by a pansexual reporter. Watch this interaction. I am personally a pansexual, so I was okay. just wondering what your views on same-sex couples were. I don't have a negative view of same-sex couples, mm -hmm. but I do have a negative view of a tyranny of the minority. So, so I think that in the name of protecting against a tyranny of the majority, and there are times in this country's history where we have had a tyranny of the majority, we have now, in the name of protecting against tyranny of the majority, created a new tyranny of the minority. Mm. And I think that that's wrong. I don't think that somebody who's religious should be forced to officiate a wedding that they disagree with. Yes. I don't think somebody who is a woman who's worked really hard for her achievements should be forced to compete against a biological man mm. in a swim competition. I don't think that somebody who's a woman that respects her bodily autonomy and dignity should be forced to change clothes in a locker room mm. with a man. That's not freedom, that's oppression. Yes. And Douglas, he went on to explain why this tyranny of the minority is particularly dangerous for children. How did you see that uh, encounter? I thought it was fascinating, Rita. Firstly, because uh, this uh, per this uh, person says, woman saying, I'm a pansexual. She's is probably used to that making people bow down to her <laughs> as a sort of goddess, Gaia-like figure. You know, oh, pansexual, oh, how interesting you must be. Oh, my. And, of course, she's also used to the fact that they're really saying that at the opening is a type of way to try to make the person who is your interlocutor into your hostage. I'm a pansexual. You know, what have you got to say about that? And you're, you're, she's hoping that the politicians are going to go, uh, 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 I can't believe you love everything like uh, want to have sex with trees, whatever, pansexuals and means this week. Uh, sure. Uh, they just hope that it's going to make them into a hostage. And Vivek Ramaswamy He's is far smart. too clever yes. for that. Uh, uh, I know him. I've done events with him. I've spoken with him. On many occasions, he's very smart. Yes. And what he did there was expert, in my opinion, expert yeah. in making sure he wasn't taken hostage by this clear <laughs> political activist. Um, uh, secondly, by explaining the problem that he has, and, and basically the majority oh, of us well, have yes, with exactly. this w weird uh, alphabet soup clown car thing. <laughs> uh, and thirdly, by doing so in a courteous manner. It's something yes. very interesting about Brahmaswamy. He's thought his way through all of these issues. He's got a very clear yes. way of explaining things. And as long as somebody is courteous to him, he's courteous back. Mm. And it's very interesting that somebody who's such an outsider when he started mm. is now number three in the polls and catching up with DeSantis yeah. fast. It's astonishing how well he's done because as intelligent as he is, uh, uh, you think oh, he's got zero chance, but he's getting through and, and even that interaction ended yes. on a lovely note yes, with, with I think, the reporter. And by the way, God. And by the way, I should mention, uh, Rita, that when I was last on a stage with Vivek in, uh, in Washington earlier this year, I did say to him that I, I wanted the deal that I always ask of politicians, which is that if he does make it to president, I want a special portfolio in his government, which is Minister uh, of Education, wow. Public Enlightenment and also War. Oh. <laughs> and War? <What? laughs> not asking much douglas not asking I, much at all i think it would add a certain i think it would add a certain piquancy to my dealing with the teachers unions <laughs> i endorse this i'm backing this a hundred percent now douglas you've written about the snow white controversy this week and disney have lost a fortune by backing stupidly woke productions but they're doing it again what's the definition of madness again and with snow white the lead actress has been described as a walking pr disaster you know, the, the original cartoon came out in 1937, yeah. and very evidently so. <laughs> it's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess. Douglas, I'm not sure she understands the uh, the depths of the themes behind fairy tales, mm. but she seems to have utter contempt for the Snow White story. 
Yeah, that's right. I mean, uh, um, it seems that the PR strategy of Disney is to ruin all classic uh, movies mm, uh, yes, and like... all classic cartoons and, uh, it, and claim they're all dated whilst offering us these horribly dated cliches. Uh, basically, uh, the actress in question uh, is, 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 is just peeing all over the 1937 cartoon version that's so loved by people and saying things like uh, she said in an interview uh, don't expect the, the, her prince to wait Sammy. for the prince uh, there may not even be a prince there is, mm. he's in the recording but he may be edited out and the reason she said it is, is that the real story of Snow White apparently is that, that, that Snow White can become the leader she's meant to be like. and, uh, apart from the fact, by the way interestingly enough Rita that sounds like a script written by Meghan Markle uh, who of <laughs> Of course, actually did uh, wait for the prince or indeed rushed at a prince and uh, grabbed him for her own use. use but yes. that aside, uh, what, what's clearly happening with this is this, this terrible attempt to sort of update everything. And what they don't realize mm. is that the updating they're doing already sounds much more dated. What? Yes. You know, mm. The 1937 cartoon of Snow White will be ageless. Yes. Uh, this nonsense already <laughs> sounds <laughs> aged nonsense. to me at any rate. And uh, uh, I can't wait for this to be yet another Disney box office bomb. And as I've said before, why not just write a new story with these right. modern themes that you want to mm -hmm. push? Uh, there's no reason to go and yep. trash a classic. You can actually write new I stories. <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. Why not, Rita? Here's an idea for Disney. Why don't they just do this thing of a princess in the castle who doesn't want a prince uh, and she becomes the woman she wants to be which is a, a mid-level executive somewhere at the United Nations at First Avenue in New York and she <laughs> retires in her mid-50s and has a good uh, uh, retirement send-off from her colleagues and that's the end. And she'd go home and live happily ever with after with her cats and I think <laughs> a lot of people would be happy with that. The ending has to be my favorite thing because I was waiting for either Douglas Murray or Rita to mention the to go retire with a cat and finally somebody said it. Honestly, I don't even know what these people are thinking. First, like when I first heard the Snow White and the um storyline not she's she's not gonna wait for a prince shaman to come save her there is no i'm like <clears throat> y'all don't even know what you're talking about why like i completely agree with douglas murray why don't they just write a new story why change the classic because of course that's what they want to, what they want to do to erase memory beautiful memory of people i mean what is wrong with um, little girls or people or ladies waiting for Prince Charming to come save them? Is there anything wrong with it? <sighs> I don't get why this everything has to be feminist, 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 wait, uh, independent girl, boss cheek, this, da, da, da. And then you're going to be lonely with your cards. Because um, they want to trash and erase men out of it out, out of this world because of your ideology that um you you just want this is just making it to they just want to force everything on, on the society they want to dominate oh the women have to live in a world where men don't exist then you should create your own world and live there don't drag the entire world with you the world is beautiful, both having both men and women in it. Now let's talk about Vivek Ramaswamy because um, um, when I saw that in that video where he talked with the um, pansexual um, individual, I find I, I found it really interesting. I'm like, wow, this lady she wanted to use her identity or whatever she goes by to um, put Vivek Ramaswamy in the box, but she's, she doesn't even know who she, she's actually speaking, uh, talking with because Vivek, Vivek is very smart. He, he would share his opinion and say what, say call it as it is. And uh, I mean, what he spoke there and what he said there was um, what everybody is actually thinking and what everybody um, has been talking about. And um, of course, what they're doing is literally is oppression is um, 
is oppress they are oppressing people while they are saying oh this is what i go by or this is what i do uh, feel this is what i feel like so anybody can just wake up and feel like um, they want to be a tree nobody is stopping you to say oh today i wake up i woke up and i decided i want to be a chair so you should start cut calling me a chair it's not anybody's business but don't force your opinion or don't force whatever you're going by or whatever you identify by or identify with on people that's not fair that's oppression and i'm glad vivek from vivek spoke it uh, talked about it and shared his opinion in a civil manner and um she was uh, actually really civil with him and um i must commend her for that as well but yeah um vivek spoke our mind and um i mean um that's what everybody is actually thinking and that's what everybody have been saying for yes or for some time now but yeah i really love listening to douglas murray and uh, rita speak because they i love i love their point of view and i love how well spoken and uh, how they are always leaning towards the truth and say uh, call it as it is but douglas murray has an interesting personality that i've actually loved listening to um for a while now and um yeah i can't wait for his appointment but not him adding minister of education to war come on but yeah let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below what are your thoughts about um the snow white movie and um their storyline and everything and yeah i really love to read from you you can also share your thoughts and your contribution regarding vivek ramaswamy because um apparently he's um climbing on um, the chart and um lots of people never believed he would get to uh, climb up like uh, climb to this stage or get to this um uh, top the chart like this but yeah apparently it is what it is and um vivek is uh, climbing real high but yeah i really love your thoughts and your contribution regarding vivek ramaswamy regarding um the pansexual the um topic that was discussed regarding the pansexual and also um uh, the snow white and um yeah i really love to read from you. you can share other interesting information you think might be really helpful and until next time see you in the next video